Okay, so to join us for part two, now that we have our completed oil, is a student from our Sustainability and Renewable Energy Systems major. Hello, I'm David Sabatki. And he's going to walk us through the transesterification process. So we have some methanol here. Methanol and, of course, what else do we need? Our catalyst. So our catalyst is methanol and potassium hydroxide. And here we have our oil, and what are we going to do? We're going to mix these two together separate those triglycer or triglycerides. So, take the oil and pour it into here. And then we have to vigorously shake it for about 10 minutes. So it looks a little bubbly and the oil hasn't really mixed yet, but once you shake it, you see that immediate reaction happen. Now we're going to shake that for about 10 minutes and it's going to result in this mixture here. And then once we, once we let this mixture wait for a while, some people can choose to let it wait um, for a couple hours or overnight in our case, we have something that looks a little bit like this. So what we have here, we've got two layers here. That first layer that we have, this is our methyl esters. These are our mix of fatty esters, our, our fatty methyl esters as it's called. And right there at that bottom, that slightly darker layer, that is our other product. So what was the other product that we made when we were doing transesterification? It was glycerol. So this is the glycerol at the bottom. And when we go to process this biodiesel now, because actually this part right here, these methyl esters, this is what we use to make diesel. This will get filtered out, and we'll see in step three some things that we can do to it to clean it up. And this glycerol will be tapped out of the bottom and then used to go in manufacturing of cosmetics and soaps and a whole other products.